peens. Not quite peas, not quite beans, but something special in betweens. Barbara, get the big plates out. Oh, Nigel. Give your wife the best. Give her Big Ron's big pies. British humour is somewhat of an acquired taste, focusing more on a satirical approach to life as we know it, poking fun at themselves and a rather emotionless deadpan style that can be hit or miss. Thank goodness you're here puts a lot of eggs in the humour basket, bordering on the absurd as you wander about town. What's it like? Grab your 10 bob, head to the chipper, and prepare for a lot of slapping as we review Thank Goodness You're Here for the Nintendo Switch. Before we jump into our Thank Goodness You're Here review, would you mind liking and subscribing? It's the best way for what's it like to get found on YouTube, and I can't thank you enough for doing so. Thank Goodness You're Here puts you in the boots of an unnamed tiny yellow man who has a meeting with the mayor in the fictional Yorkshire town of Barnsworth, an offbeat town full of interesting and out there characters who always seem to be in need of a helping hand to get them out of a pickle. So begins your quest to kill some time, helping out the denizens of Barnsworth with things like freeing someone's arm from a drain, recovering tools for the local handyman, and helping feed a cow so it can produce milk for a child who's quite in a state as he can't stomach black tea. It's a platform puzzler game that sees you nonchalantly run around and slap pretty much everything while you go on a series of never-ending fetch quests. None of it is particularly difficult and there's no real direction or indicators as what you should do next which may frustrate some players. Much like Untitled Goose Game, there's a lot of walking around the same parts of town as it evolves to further through the story you go to unlock new paths, characters and puzzles. Thank goodness you're here relies heavily on the repetition of jokes and throwbacks to events that happened earlier on in the game. And in this sense, it succeeds in making the player laugh. It's full of sexual innuendo and moments of inappropriateness, which I actually found quite entertaining, but it's definitely not a game for the kids. The whole time playing it, I felt like I was in that episode of Rick and Morty where they have interdimensional cable, as the humour just felt unscripted at times where the cast was told to just roll with it, and for the most part, it works out. Some gags made me audibly laugh out loud like the alleyway sausage gag, Roger's large head, or slapping someone eating lunch for them to just say, what's all this about then? Hello there. I've got a sausage here. Would you like it? Here you go. Ah! I've dropped it. That's okay. I've got another. Ah! Dropped it again. It's alright. I've got some more inside. Back in a mo. Some gags also fell flat too, and I put that more down to my sense of humour, not necessarily the game's writing. As you play, the game has a constant sound of a kazoo giving a deflating womp womp vibe on top of a soft strings and piano score. The sound production in the game is actually quite fantastic, and the voice acting is superb with all characters having their own nuances and sometimes stereotypical personalities which play to its strength. Matt Berry from the IT crowd, What We Do in the Shadows, and The Toast of London makes an appearance as well as a gardener who pops up throughout the story with some very clever lines. It's all very well done in this sense, and hearing the people from Barnsworth talk and have banter while you stroll around is quite humorous, and this NPC banter actually unfolds into their own mini-stories as the game progresses as well. All of this is presented in a wonderfully animated art style that cuts to stock footage as well and makes you feel like you're watching a TV sitcom. The world is chock full of humorous additions, bright and vibrant colours and interesting characters. There's plenty of items to slap like garbage bags that will make a trio of rats come out and sing, bins to dent and people to slap just to see what they have to say. For my vision impaired gamers there are some accessibility options like being able to adjust the size of subtitles which is a welcome addition. And the game has a bright and contrasting colour scheme making your character easy to define from the world around him. Unfortunately the game is very short in length and I completed it in about an hour and 45 minutes. For me 
there was little to no reason to go back through it again, so much like the kazoo playing in the background, I just couldn't help but feel a little bit deflated when the credits rolled. This is what makes reviewing a game like Thank Goodness You're Here so hard, because on one hand it made me laugh and has excellent production values, and on the other, the gameplay just feels shallow and the completion time is so very short. After seeing what others have had to say about Thank Goodness You're Here, I feel like I'm just missing something, like I'm just not getting it, and that's okay. Thank Goodness You're Here is chock full of offbeat humour, hilarious moments, and a bright and colourful world. The gameplay may feel shallow and it's a shame it's so short, because the time spent in the imaginary Yorkshire town of Barnsworth is a funny and enjoyable romp. Its reliance on humour hitting the mark with the player will be what divides gamers, and I feel you'll either love it or hate it. While in the end it wasn't really for me, I recommend taking your time to see if the offbeat humour resonates with you. So, what's it like? Thank goodness you're here is like Untitled Goose Game crossed with the mighty boosh. Hello, shopkeep! Hello! Oh dear, this one's imaginized. All together, that's... Ten bob. He's not been so good since me man put me back on the bismuth. Well, you better bring us three big mixed I awarded a 68 taste. out of a yes, hundred. Uh, I'll be right over. Oh, there you are, Colin. There you go, Mr. Ron. I came as fast. Thanks so much for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it. The best way you can support me is to like and subscribe and continue watching my content if you enjoy it. But if you do want to go that bit extra, you can buy me a coffee or join our Patreon which shows you behind the scenes of this channel. Thanks again.